Hi everybody, today I'm in the kitchen and I'm gonna try a new recipe. It's for apple fritters. I had some leftover apples laying around, so I thought I would try out this recipe. So today we're gonna to be using the apples, Granny Smith, lemons, eggs, um, coconut, uh, organic coconut, or su succinate sugar. I think that's coconut sugar. Anyway, it's gonna be um, gluten-free all-purpose flour, ground cinnamon, salt, baking powder, coconut milk, and I'm gonna do a drizzle of um, organic maple syrup. So those are the ingredients we'll be using, and I will show you in a few minutes how we're doing it. Okay, we're into making it. So step one is mixing the flour, the baking powder, the salt, and the cinnamon into a medium-sized bowl. Step two was dicing up the apples, peeling them, chopping them into little bite-sized pieces, and then putting the lemon juice on them. And then I'm gonna be moving to step three, which is to crack these eggs and then mix it with the beater, the blender on medium with the sugar until it is mixed together and then turn it on low until it's a good consistency. And then what I'm going to be doing is taking the flour mixture and mixing in to the egg mixture. So we'll see you back in a moment after we do that. So there's all of our steps. Okay, so that step didn't really go as planned. Um, I used the mixer. This is a third egg now that I'm gonna mix in because this is supposed to be more like a batter and you can see it's like a dough. So my advice to you if you follow this recipe actually mix it by hand. I think the beaters just damaged it. So I'm gonna to try to thin it out a little bit with another egg and a little bit of water and see if that helps. See if we can rescue this recipe. Okay, so I only added one more egg. I didn't add any water. It seems to be a better consistency because what the next step is, is we take our chopped apples and then we're going to fold them into the batter. So, and then once I've got all the apples folded into the batter, I'm gonna scoop it out a quarter teaspoon at a time and bring it over here where we're gonna add half a level of oil, heat it up to 375, and then we'll put them in there and as they start to turn golden, you flip them over, cook the other side, and then out they go for the next step. Okay, so here they are frying up in a pan. I'm just doing a few at a time. And we are going to turn this bad boy. Look at that, he's all goldeny. So it looks like it's working. Oh, look at those beautiful bad boys. So I think these are gonna turn out really nice. All right, we'll be back in a few. Okay, so I made the apple fritters. They've cooled off a little bit. I made myself a little plate. I drizzled some maple syrup around the, over them. And you're actually supposed to make a little glaze with um, confectioner's sugar, but I didn't have any in the cabinet. So I went ahead and just gave them a little dusting of maple syrup. And let's try a bite. Mmm. Oh my God, it's tasty. Yeah, it's just like an apple fritter, I guess. Like the ones that you get in the store. Yeah, they make those in the store that you can get like at the coffee shops and stuff. Look at the maple syrup, it's gonna drip off. <laughs> anyway, really tasty, very good. I'm gonna put the recipe down below. I got it from a website, so check out her recipes. They're really, really good. And if you like this video, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe because I'm gonna be doing a lot more recipes, some of my own, and I love to try out recipes. So quick and simple, bye.